Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made thermal color changing spray paint. Stay tuned. For demonstration purposes, we're going to paint this stainless steel cup gloss white, place the cup in an oven for 45 minutes at 200 degrees. This will give us the effect for the DIY video we're doing. This is a pro pack of Prevail sprayers. I got this on Amazon and we'll put a link below in the bio to where you can find this on Amazon as well. In the package it came with this spray grip handle. It came with two extra nozzles and two pickup tubes for the spray systems. Each spray system contains an aerosol can and a glass jar that you can mix your paint in. So the first step of mixing the gloss clear, we had to get the paint out of the can so I removed the factory nozzle from the gloss clear. I replaced it with the nozzle from this parts brake cleaner. A WD-40 with a straw would work as well. Now once we have the nozzle replaced on the gloss can of clear, I went ahead and took some masking tape and covered the glass jar from the Burfell sprayer, put the straw into the glass jar, and just sprayed the paint directly into the glass jar. I did this indoors and didn't experience any fumes. Once you have the gloss inside the glass container, let it sit for about 10 minutes before mixing your thermal color changing colors. So this right here is 10 minutes after the gloss has been in the jar and it's been sitting. Here I'm showing the thermal color dust that changes at 86 degrees from purple to blue and this one changes black to clear. In this video I'm going to be using the purple to blue method. Now I didn't do any kind of precise measurements, I just eyeballed it and did what it, I expected to be a good enough job and it did a great job in the end. Once I had all of this powder into the gloss clear coat, I went ahead and gave it a good mixture. Once I thought it was mixed properly, I mixed it again. All right, the cup is now dry and I've been sitting it outside and letting it cool off. Here's a laser thermometer. I'll put a link in the description where you can find these. I wanted to make sure it was a great temperature to start spraying. So I started spraying up the mixture outside. Now I had plenty of gloss in the cup that we mixed up. So I want to go ahead and stress to you guys here, do not make the same mistake I did and put too heavy of a coat on the first time. I had plenty extra to do three more coats and I did that. So after I was finished with the first coat, I placed it in the oven for five minutes at two 200 degrees. Using an oven is not a must. It just helps these cups to cure faster when we spray paint them. So whatever project you're doing, you do not have to use an oven. I just want to make myself clear. All right, guys, for demonstration purposes, we have the cup at room temperature and it's purple. I'm taking a heat gun here, heating it up and it's going from purple to blue. This effect will also work when you step it outside into the heat or you hold it with your hands. All right guys, once you're done, let's don't forget the cleanup. I'm taking some paint thinner here, spraying it through the Prevail system. Once I spray it through the top portion, I then cover the top portion up and spray it back down and it makes bubbles into the paint thinner below. Once that happens, I will go ahead and, and shake the can up to get the paint thinner all inside the cup and take a rag and just clean it that way. Let it air dry and then put it up for storage. All right guys, this is how I made thermal spray paint. I appreciate you watching. My name is Ryan Finners and you've been watching the Finnertainment channel. If you haven't at the top right here, please subscribe and check out these other great videos. We'll see y'all later.